I'm now going to show you the uh, my easy way to uh, associate uh, uh, robot controller hardware with the with a freshly installed robot controller app. Uh, this is really only necessary if you've had to delete your previous version of the app and replace it with a new one, uh, either because you're using a different development machine or you're uh, installing on a new phone, or perhaps you've upgraded from an old version from last season to a new version from this season. Uh, I'm just going to start the app here. There is no display, uh, driver station running. This is just the motor, just the robot controller. You see, there's no configuration set. Uh, that's because this is the first time this has um, seen any hardware, so it's never been configured before. And the thing to stress here is that when you do this, when you assign your new hardware, you want to make sure that the robot battery is fully charged. That's really important. Make sure that all your devices are all plugged in. Don't attempt to just do some of them at once because everything needs to be powered up. It's attached to the USB. Uh, I have a pushbot robot with two motor controllers, a servo controller, and a device interface module. So I'm going to expect four devices to show up. This does not typically happen all at once. This is an uh, incremental thing the first time you do this. Uh, I'm going to plug in the uh, robot into my phone. You'll notice I've already started the app. I'm now going to reach down and turn on the power distribution module. Um, and the first thing that's come up here is that it's seen at least one device and is prompting you uh, to uh, associate this device with this robot controller app. Um, so we will expect to see this pop up four times, one for each controller. Until we see it four times, we can't expect the scan to work properly. So there's number one. I'm going to say OK. Now, it only came up once, so we need to get it to come up some more. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the robot configuration menu. And you see there's no configurations currently, so we're going to hit new. And straight away, it's come up again. So this is for the second controller. So we're going to say check the box and say OK. Now at this point, you'll see we only have one device up here. That's the one that we had previously uh, checked and OK'd. So we need to get this box to come up uh, two more times. So we're going to, to do that, the easiest way to do it is just hit scan. It's going to prompt you to say that everything's going to be lost. That's OK. We say yes. And so now here's our third time. So we click it and we say OK. And now you see there's two controllers. So that's the previous two, not including the one we just checked. So we've got one more that we need to get a pop up on. So we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to hit the scan. So yes, ignore everything. So here's our fourth pop-up. So at this point, all the devices are registered, so we just need to show them again. So I'm gonna hit scan one more time. So yes, everything's fine. And now you see we have four devices showing up here. At this point, this phone now knows about these devices and this shouldn't happen again unless you're plugging and unplugging when the phone's running, things like that. Otherwise, it knows about these devices. So, um, so now they're all available we can actually go back and do a configuration. So I'm going to just cancel out of this. Yes. When it says exit without saving, it just means there's no configuration file. It still knows all those devices. So the easiest way to do this <coughs> now, if, you, if you're starting off with just a push bot, is to say configure, configure from template, which is down here. And that's going to show you five pre-known robot layouts. Push bot is the simplest. And if you want to know what's required, you can just hit the info and it shows you what you need. A motor controller with the wheels, motor controller with the arm and a servo controller for the grippers. So I'm going to say, okay, that's good. So I'm going to say configure the push bot. And what it's going to do, it's going to go out and attempt to find three devices that match the criteria. And here it is. Now this is interesting because it said they are not attached, which is interesting because it knows they exist, but it doesn't think that they're currently attached. Every now and then you get these kind of issues. So what I'm going to do just to correct this is I'm going to exit out of the app, uh, power down the robot, and come back up again. Uh, so I exit out of the app. Uh, go down here. Exit the app. I'm going to exit all these other things that are here for some reason. Best known only to them. Oops. All right. Uh, and now I'm going to turn off the robot. Now I'm going to, when I turn off the robot, I'm going to wait uh, 20 seconds. Uh, it's not clear how long you really have to wait, but powering down the robot and back up again quickly is, is never good. Uh, and when I do this, this time, I'm going to leave the app off just to illustrate what should happen whenever you power up the robot. It should bring up the app automatically. Uh, I'm thinking that's about 20 seconds. I'm going to turn on the robot. And I'm only doing this because it said it couldn't find the devices. 
All right, so I'm going to go into configuration again. Notice I didn't get a pop-up. Try that again. Configure robot. New, uh, sorry, configure from template. Push bot config. All right, and you see the same devices is there, but it doesn't say not connected. So it knows those three match the push bot requirements. It's assigned uh, the serial numbers, servos, wheels, and tools. These two are motor controllers. Now, the thing is, of course, that the phone doesn't really know which motor controller is actually connected to the wheels and which are connected to the arm. Um, in this case, the one that ends in INF is connected to the wheels, and the one that ends in IOW is connected to the tools. Now, I happen to know that the one that ends with W is actually my uh, motor controller that's connected to the wheels. So I really need to switch these two. And the easiest way to do that is to pick one, wheels, hit swap, and it'll show you any other motor controllers. In this case, this one here, which is, has the W on it. So I'm going to pick him, and I'm going to done and now you'll see that the wheels end in W. If you don't know ahead of time which controller is which, you can go ahead, save this configuration, uh, run your robot, in this case, probably just run the arm slowly to see which motor moves, and if it's not the arm, then you need to swap it. If it is the arm, then you're fine. Either way, we need to go ahead and save here and put in a name. Okay. And then we back out of here, back out of here. Uh, and you notice it says push bot, push bot up the top, which is what I just configured. And now the robot is running the push bot configuration and it says stop, so it's ready to go. So at this point, you can start up your driver station and communicate. And that's all there is to it.